Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for prayer therapy session for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on our prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not yet joining us, what in the world are you waiting for? Come and come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will leave the information on the screen here. A link will be in the description box down below the title of the video. So I want to thank all of you who joined me for a marriage and relationship boot camp prayer meeting on Friday. God bless you if you missed it. What you doing with your life? Go watch the replay after this. You will be tremendously blessed. And as you're watching, make sure you're sharing with others so that they can be helped as well. And I uh, also want to remind you that next week, Friday, the 30th of August, is our Women of Valor Prayer Conference live right here on YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You do not want to miss it. So mark your calendar. Set your alarms, tell a sister to tell their friends, to tell their sisters, to tell their friends, to tell all the men of valor in their lives to come join me. Again, that will be next week, Friday, the 30th of August at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live right here on YouTube. God bless you as you do so. I brought you the prayer therapy session for today. We're going to be gleaning from Philippians chapter 4, from verse 6 to 7. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus and the session has begun the session has begun listen there's a quiet confidence that comes with the peace that only God can give us my God when you're praying about any matter, do not stop praying until you get this peace in your heart, in your spirit. It is that peace that you cannot explain. You feel this peace even though the situation may not have changed yet in the physical. It is a sign from heaven that your prayers have been answered. Even though you don't know when or how God is going to come through, is peace that surpasses your understanding of how terrible, how horrible, how scary even that the situation is, will be your anchor. My God, it will be your anchor. It will be your anchor. So make sure that you're discerning that peace. It is a peace that you get. So if you're praying and you're fasting about a matter and you don't have that peace yet, keep keep going. You've fasted for a month. You've prayed for three months. You've prayed for six months. You've prayed for a year. You have not gotten that sign. It is a divine sign from heaven that your prayers have hit the right spot yes that heaven has heard you and that the barrel of your prayer is full even to overflowing and that you're going to testify that is a sign that your breakthrough is near that is a sign that you can rest in God and you can be, be rest assured that he has your back that he has your back listen if you have not yet watched the prophetic word from Sunday you really should watch it. I know that it will bless you. And this is why we're praying the way we're praying today. This is a prayer for new beginning. This is a prayer for new beginning, for a change of story. That God will change the story of your life for the better. I don't know what you might have been going through, but God has sent me with this powerful prophetic word on Sunday, which you need to watch. And this powerful prophetic prayer today that Things are turning around for your good, my God. Things are changing in your favor. We're going to go quickly. I'm prophesying this over you according to what the Lord is leading me to do. Isaiah 43 from verse 16 to 21. This is the message translation. This is what God says. The God who builds a road right through the ocean who carves a path through pounding waves, the God who summons horses and chariots and armies. They lie down and they can't get up. They're snuffed out like so many candles. Forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert, be present. 
I am about to do something brand new. Oh, it's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert rivers, even in the bad lands. Wild animals will say thank you, the coyotes and the buzzards, because I provided water in the desert, rivers through the sun-baked earth, drinking water for the people I chose, the people I made especially for myself, a people custom made to praise me this is what the lord is saying in this season it's your season of new beginning the number eight represents new beginning and for some of you this is going to be a rhema word for you for some of you it is a sure word of confirmation that you know that you know that god has been saying this to you even in your secret place and father we thank you we thank you for your word we're gonna go into prayer now lord we honor you for this hour of prayer thank you for that which you have done we we acknowledge that you are god you are god alone and there is none like you incredible god of the universe accept our thanksgiving in the name of jesus we ask the forgiveness of any sin and iniquity that the enemy may use as a foothold in our lives that the enemy may use as a legal access into our lives that the enemy may use as a legal ground of accusation against us in the course of heaven or oh, that the enemy may use as a tactic to delay the answers to our prayers Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. We ask that you will cleanse us, purify us, sanctify us, soul, body, and spirit in the name of Jesus, that you will destroy the appetite, the hunger, the thirst, the longing for sin in us, and you will give us the mind of Christ. You will give us the grace even to flee every appearance of evil in the name of Jesus. Father, today I ask, I pray for your people that you will do a new thing in their lives in the name of Jesus remember them now for your good in the name of Jesus Lord I ask that you fulfill your promises to them in the name of Jesus wipe away their secret tears and give them an open testimony in the mighty name of Jesus let them record great testimonies in every area of their lives even in this month of August and even in this year 2024 in the name of Jesus I pray Lord Jesus that you will give them all around victory in the name of Jesus you will make a way for them where there was no way you will make a way for them where there seemed to be no way you will part the waters for those who feel as though they're going under in the name of Jesus you will part the waters oh even for those who feel as though they're drowning under the weight and the pressure of this world in the mighty name of Jesus according to your word give them a fresh start oh God according to your word give them a better life give them a clean slate rewrite their story in the name of Jesus I pray Lord that you will give them a triumphant life in the name of Jesus that you will restore to them all that they have lost all that have been stolen by the enemy in the name of Jesus you will put a new song on their lips and give them many reasons to laugh again in the name of Jesus in and through the lives of these ones you will make a great name for yourself in the mighty name of Jesus father make a great name for yourself in the name of Jesus I pray that today will be the beginning of a brand new life for your people as many as are under the sound of my voice as many as will come across this video in the name of Jesus that they will have a new dawn in the name of Jesus let them experience a new dawn in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I pray today let those who have rejected and mocked them see your goodness in their lives see their testimonies and have no choice but to celebrate them and to celebrate with them in the name of Jesus to those who have lost hope Lord, let hope be restored, my God. Oh, Jesus, let hope be restored. Let hope be restored in the name of Jesus. Give them your peace, not as the world gives, but your peace, 
which surpasses all understanding. In the name of Jesus, let this be their anchor. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, give them your peace. Not as the world gives, but your peace which surpasses all understanding. Let this be their anchor in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your peace, oh, be their anchor all the days of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We give you praise now for having answered, for you are the God who answers by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. If this prayer therapy session has been a blessing to you, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share it so others can be blessed. Make sure you give it a thumbs up to give it momentum on YouTube. Make sure you also leave me your comment if you would like to do so. And don't forget to join us on our prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Another one is tomorrow. And uh, I know that as you join us, you will be blessed. Your lives will be transformed. You'll be healed, delivered, and set free in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed rest of your day.